Yo, what's good? What's good? How everybody doing? Hey, welcome back to another video. Y'all already know how it is. Hope everybody doing good. Enjoying life, hanging in there. Stay focused. Hey, let's get into it. For me and my girls to go on trips, Wait, send me money, me, how, but how not like that. I'm 19. 19. Um, so when did it start? When did it start? When I was 18. Okay, wait, that's so... That's crazy. That's yeah. such a short period of time. Yeah, for real. My life changed a lot in the last year. Word. Wait, Word. so... Okay. And what? you said you've gone on hundreds of these dates with men, some of them very short, maybe one-off, and then some of Look, them there was some continuity. they're everywhere in Atlanta. Like, no. they're everywhere. You no, that's can just fine. be hanging out, and it's a trick If you year. had to estimate... <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> he's like, here's it's my money, trick. here's my wallet, yeah. go have fun, go shop. It's Seriously. Wow. You see, some of these girls don't really care about men. It's kind of sad that... A lot of women today is just choosing money over God. And you know, it's it's crazy too because there's a, a specific scripture in the Bible that talks about you can serve you can serve money or you can serve God, but you can't serve both masters. These type of women are serving money. It, it's a shame. Wait until they get older and then we'll see if they be doing the same stuff that they're doing right now, but they only doing this because they're young and they have an advantage over men. Wait, so total, of if you add up all the men, all the money they've given you, total, how much do you think? 200, 300,000? Mm -hmm. More? More? Yeah. 500,000? No, a few hundred so, thousand. Should we say 300,000 safe number? You can say that if you want. I don't really know. You, I don't know. You should get a bookkeeper, probably. Yeah. Shit. Never Shit. been one to really keep um, track, but... But you're, you're 19. Yeah. Uh, you've... Through this website, you've been able to. Bobby get, Three uh, donated two hundred dollars. Hey, hey, Bobby, thank Michael, you, Michael, how can you explain to these girls that selling themselves for money will negatively impact their chances of having what they want beyond this money? BS. Drop some divine truth for them. Well, that's a big uh, request, but I guess it's, it's, it sort of gets to what we were talking about earlier. You know about impeding uh, your potential to get married. But even with the money thing, let's say put the men aside for a second. You want to have careers for whatever reason, uh, right? That you're spending a lot of time and effort on this, right? It, it's it's real work. In that you're yeah. Maddie's CPA donated two hundred dollars. <laughs> to be clear, he only gifted her thirty-four thousand dollars last year, which is hey, the maximum he could give as a joint filer. <laughs> yeah, that's very important for the agents mm. to see that. Yes. So even if you just wanted to have a career for whatever reason, like all the time that you're spending on this right now is time where you're producing this content, but the content is not going to build up the potential for a career after, you know, old father time sets in and you're not going to be able to sell for as much money and get 300,000 bucks off your tricks. So w wouldn't it be, I had, a, I had a buddy who was a, a Twitch gamer. He would just play video games uh -huh. on Twitch and people would give him money for it. Yeah. And, he would do that for me, too. I'm a streamer. So part of the reason he stopped doing it, he was making good money, but he stopped doing it because he said, I'm not building any skills. I'm not building anything that's productive for me. So when, when this money runs out, it's it. It looks like big money now. It's very tempting. Mm -hmm. But once it's gone, it's gone, and then I'm going to be left with, without skills to do a job. And then more importantly, I might be impeded from having what I really desire, which is a family and which, a Which, that's good a life. valid point. That's a very that. valid point. I think in my opinion right now because i know how much money i'm making it's my job to budget it and save it in a way that if i'm ever in the position later on in life that i'm not doing this job anymore and i need to figure out what i can do next how much money is enough you can always point point those girls is always they don't care they're going to continue to rack up money they're going to continue to leverage their looks they're going to continue to take advantage of men just because they're beautiful, and men are going to give them, not all men, but a lot of men are, are going to continue to give these type of females money because of their looks. But I can guarantee you, those girls aren't giving them nothing. They ain't giving no sex, no nothing. All these men out here giving these females their attention, their money, but they're not getting nothing back in return. Nothing. These girls have absolutely no respect for themselves. All they care about is money, and they don't care about nothing else. You can always, okay, I know the here's answer. the thing with money. The, you the can end. always make money. Like, money isn't Word. everything. Yeah. You can have 
Yeah. yeah. You can yeah. have a yeah. billion dollars in your bank account and you could s- like and live in your mansion and it can all be gone. Unhappy yeah. and everything. Um, and the I think that what's important is like actually enjoying what you do, uh, your purpose on yeah. earth and keep doing new things. Doing the good thing. And your purpose on earth is for God. It's is you know what? I, I actually I honestly I think some of these girl a lot of these girls and then a lot of girls in in America, they are becoming their own God and they serve him money. They don't care about raising a traditional family or anything like that. It's sad. None of these girls don't even realize that there was women who came before them that was all about the money, all about the fame, all about the attention, all about the likes on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok that are now 40, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, can't have children. They lonely, single moms, all because they, they put themselves before God. They put money before God. They have, they do not care about raising or being with the a traditional family or having a traditional man. They don't care nothing about that. At all. Yeah, I'm invest doing it and doing the start new Beautiful. businesses. Beautiful. Like there's Beautiful. it's not Thank just you. like oh when you quit what you're Appreciate doing it. like when well, you're like oh fuck. Like you can you you can use that money and like, like start your right, own no, companies my, and do like what I you're actually passionate about. I use, my, passionate I use about. my OnlyFans money to start up like a clothing company of my own too. So like I mean I know like there's other things that I'll build throughout the years of my own too that I'll be able to fall back on those when I know there's there's gonna come a day when I'm gonna say I don't wanna do OnlyFans anymore. When that day is, I don't know, but I know when that day is, that day is going to happen. When you start to get those wrinkles, when that beauty starts to fade, that's when that day is going to happen. When you can't no longer use your looks to make money off of, because there's nothing that you did productive in society, nothing you did for the community. You did absolutely nothing. A lot of these women in today's society, they don't do nothing. And you know what's funny too, they think their own, you know, a lot of these girls think that their businesses like makeup or clothing, that's you. That's doing nothing to society. That's doing nothing for the communities. That's not stopping the killings, no, the thieves. That's not, that's, that's not stopping the fortification. That's not stopping anything. That's not doing any positivity to the, to the, uh, to the community. Absolutely, absolutely nothing. It does nothing. And if it comes, I'll have money saved up to where I'll be able to do that. My only point is if you're saying I'm doing it now because I'm just the money's so good, I just got to keep making more money. I will tell you, having gone from not having really any money to having some money, it, you think there's a number. You're like, if I make X amount, then I'll stop doing this thing. There, there's no real number. You just. Yeah. The more you get, you just you're gonna want more of it. And I think if you're yeah. setting yourself up in a position, you, yeah, you if you say this is the number, you're you're gonna keep doing it. I agree. I just also came from a, like I came from nothing. Like I didn't grow up with this. It's this even this, more this lifestyle, yeah, that I've been thrown into. You're I have to streets? remind. I was raised in a trailer park. Like I was, <laughs> I was raised with nothing. Like yeah. that's why I, it's so tempting. So. For me, yeah, now that I can support myself and support the people that are in my life that I want to support, it's all worth it to me. But you're justifying it to yourself. Yes, in that, I am. But you, but you could do something else. And I definitely could, yourself. and I do do other things. Like I said, I started you, I'm saying you could do something else in lieu of this, and you'd still be able to support I yourself. I agree with you. You wouldn't have as much money, though. I agree with you. Hmm. So that's not really the justification. The justification is, hey, I came from nothing. I've never had any money in my life. Oh, my goodness, I'm making such an insane amount of money. Mm-hmm. I'm living this crazy lifestyle. Mm-hmm. How can I possibly say no to that? But the, re- the answer if, is because it might be hurting me in the long run, right? Sorry, say that again? Because it might hurt me in the long run if what? I'm not developing certain skills and if I'm it not hurt moving forward to... Uh, what skills am I not developing Any doing other this job, job you would be doing. But I've been working since I was 14 years old. I've had... I was a preschool teacher before this started. I've served in restaurants. Yeah, I've sure, you, could in, do a, you could do a ton of I've nannied done it, all different types of weird, totally. you know, whatever. Yeah. I have acquired other skill sets throughout the years. But every minute that you spend doing this is a minute you're not spending building up a skill or forming a relationship that, that might pay off later on in a better way. Who's I said, would disagree I with that. If you're only fans creator, you can't build other skills. You can, but not, not while you're doing only. 
These girls are not building anything at all. They are not doing nothing for society. A lot of these girls always think that being a preschool, working in a restaurant, I mean, yeah, that's something, you know, but that's not a lot. And especially since she trans transitioned from that into doing OnlyFans. So she actually just went down. She downgraded in life. She thinks that's an upgrade in life. Being an OnlyFans content creator is is shitty. Is is that that is nothing. That is absolutely nothing but you exposing yourself on the internet to get money. That is nothing. Absolutely nothing. A lot of these girls aren't doing nothing. Only fans ain't nothing. And you know, it's kind of funny too, because a lot of these girls just they walk so proudly, like, oh, you know, I'm making thousands of dollars on doing OnlyFans. I got all these businesses. Bro, there ain't nothing to be proud of. It's it's nothing to to be impressed about you doing nothing for the community absolutely nothing but listen bro i appreciate that support hey thank y'all for keeping up with me thank you for rocking with me appreciate the love hey hit that like and subscribe button thank y'all for tuning in watching this video appreciate the support hey y'all have a blessed saturday and keep doing y'all, keep hustling, keep your family safe, keep providing food on the table for your loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. Peace.